Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be a haul video on all the supplies I've got for my upcoming shrimp tank which is going to be a live planted tank and it's most probably going to house red cherry shrimp. So we have tons of supplies to get through so I might be brief on a few of them. Firstly the the background, uh, this is an optional piece but I decided to go for it and get a black one partly to camouflage the filter and the heater that's going to be on the back of the tank um, but also because of rocks and the shrimp that will be in the tank I want their colours to really pop and I think this will really work out well. Then we have a few essentials like the Classica thermometer, the ocean free net and the ocean free planting and feeding tongs. Next, of course, we have the heater. So this is an Aquazonic Eco Aquarium heater, 25 watt, and it's suitable for tanks at 25 to 50 liters. I have already tested this. I wanted to test the filter, the light, and the heater, and it all works, so that's good. Speaking of lights, the next item is this LED. Now, I haven't actually tested this yet. We'll actually test it in a minute, live, okay? So I'll do that in a sec. But um, it's not an essential because my tank already has a light, but it would be cool to see if I can actually change the tank a whole different color. So I at first thought it changed different colors due to different settings, but now I've noticed there's a dot next to this one. It might just be red. So let's go and try it right now. Let's turn that around the right way. Oh my goodness, it is red. Very red. So that'd be quite quite cool to see because actually, do you think the red cherry shrimp will just like disappear? Because they're red and the light's red. Possibly. Very interesting. Anyway, back to the haul. Next up we have some filtration media. So although the tank comes with its own, apparently this is better and you don't have to throw it out. I believe you just have to wash it through every now and again. Then we have this a la carte food, which I believe is 100% seaweed. Um, apparently it's really good for shrimp, so let's hope so. Next up we have Ocean Free Aqua Grow Plant and Shrimp Soil. So obviously the tank is going to be for plants and shrimps. So this is a no-brainer and I got six litres in total. So two of these bags, hopefully that will be enough. The next few items I got from ProShrimp.co.uk and when you're looking for stuff for shrimp and then you see a website dedicated to shrimp, you're like, well, this is perfect. So the first item is by Denela or Denele, I think it's a German word or a German company and I've heard it pronounced all different ways but anyway this is water conditioner which is much needed. Next up by the same company we have a water test at six in one and you get 50 strips and it tests pH level, carbonate hardness, total hardness, nitrate, nitrite and chlorine and this is what it looks like. I feel very technical with this. So um, I think with the shrimp and the plants the pH levels between 6.5 and 7.5 possibly. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong but Yes, that's what we're aiming for. Speaking of the plants, we have six different plants here. I'm not even going to pretend like I know how to pronounce all of their names. I know that two of them are mosses. One is a Christmas moss and one is Java moss. But yes, I've, I've looked into each one. I sort of know about where I want to place them. What I like about these is on the actual packaging, it tells you kind of lighting they need. Um, the temperatures, the CO2, whether they're easy to look after or medium or hard. And also I like how they're stored because I was looking in shops at the plants and I know a lot of shops will obviously put the plants in a bag and you can take it home. That's great if you already have an aquarium set up, but I don't. So I was like, where am I going to store these plants if I buy them? So I actually really like how these are stored and I don't have to worry about them. Um, and on the Pro Shrimp website, I know they have videos on how to like take these out, clean off the underneath and then plant them and all of that so that's really helpful and the last thing I have from Pro Shrimp is this towel which will definitely come in handy and I'm actually going to use it now so I can show you the rocks that I've got so this is the hardscape of the tank now in the shop these are called fire rocks and I thought oh, that's just a general name for them um, I looked them up and I can't find them anywhere else I've seen something similar in another video and they were kind of Japanese rock so 
I don't know if they're the same, but all I know is they have amazing colour and I think they'll look really cool against the green plants and to have the red cherry shrimp on them. And also what I like about this is they're not too tough to break. So I actually originally just bought the two rocks and I could tell this one was going to break, which is good because my aquarium isn't that big and I don't want massive rocks um, because it will just make it feel even smaller. So some of these bits came off and some more could probably easily come off. I don't know 100% sure what the layout's going to be yet, but but uh, I'm pretty happy with these. I also did get um, an ocean free piece of driftwood. I don't know whether to use it or not in this setup though because I know sometimes it works if you're gonna have rocks to just stick with rocks and sometimes it doesn't work to mix it. I don't know, you give, you guys give me your opinion. What do you think, would it work together? I think I'm gonna have to like really just use my eye and see how it's working but for right now I do only plan to use the rocks but this can always come in handy for anything. So I guess the final thing I should show you now it's started raining you can probably hear that is show you the aquarium itself. So the original tank was only 10 litres and circular and after watching a lot of setups I felt like I really wanted one that had like a flat background that I could probably use and there was more room and I got a Classica Paradigm Aquarium it's a 30 litre one and that's around 6.5 gallons, sort of around that. It's probably still too small for fish, like maybe teeny tiny fish could live in it. But for now it's just going to be plants and shrimp. So yes, I'm sure you'll see more about this tank when I do the setup. And about the setup, I will hopefully be filming the setup soon. Do you want to see that in a few weeks time or should I leave it for a month's time? And then the following month, it'll be like two months since I've set it up. And then you can see like the shrimp move in because I have to leave it to cycle for like two months. So what do you think? Do you want this, the video up to be up in like a few weeks time or a month? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, the rain is certainly the cue for me to end this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.